I don't know if uh, you were watching TV today at all, but if you were watching TV today at all, all you saw was uh, the funeral of Sonny Bono. And uh, I'm, I love Sonny. He was on our show recently. I mean, I'm not knocking him, but haven't we lowered the bar a little bit about what funerals are? You know, this I mean, is kind of a great crossover funeral, though, because it's show business, but there's a flag on the coffin. So you yeah. got government, you got kind of like we see John John, but we also see, you know, Holly. Cher. Yeah, Cher, exactly. And she actually said, she said that, that he, that Sonny made us the most beloved couple of our generation. <laughs> Which was kind of, you know, some pretty good horn tooting there for a funeral. There. Yeah. I don't know, I think it was sort of a, a guilt funeral in a way because people were so mean to him. You know, everybody made fun of him when he was yeah. alive and now that he's dead. He actually you know, said, oh. Cher actually said, People thought that Sonny was a short man. <laughs> you know, I must admit, I was, I was laboring under that same... Uh, well, <laughs> but I think it says a lot about television that, that there's no level that's, that's too low for television stations to look at trying to get ratings. If it's a funeral, whatever it is, um, somebody getting out of prison who was in there for some, a situation where his wife is shot by a young girl that he was with, he gets out of prison, they pick him up in a Rolls Royce and they have a party for him. They film that. They make this guy a celebrity. I mean, there's no level that's too low, which Did says you make a lot. that up or is that like a real thing? That's, that's Buddy Fuko. What's the guy's name? Oh. <laughs> Joey Buddy Fuko? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Again, right. it's a show business Talk about, you know, yeah. Yeah. elevating the level. <laughs> just I mean, yeah. though, they just, but, I mean, it's just, it's just, I, I, I used to have a talk show. And I remember when they told me, they said, hey, look here, the lower it is, the sleazier, the more people are going to look and watch. Yeah, but right. it's That's a little bit. That's Jerry Springer show. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> but, but this is, we're not talking about tabloid TV here. We're talking about, this was covered on CNBC, on CNN. Speaker as of the if House he was, was there. Winston Churchill. Yeah. This was like a state funeral for a shaper of the century. I mean, he was a nice man, but he was a freshman congressman who had two hits. And I just, <laughs> I just well, don't understand. I mean, you know, think yeah. of this, the, the three funerals that got a lot of coverage, uh, Diana and uh, Michael Kennedy and Sonny Bono. I mean, all of the, they all had in common the fact that they crashed. And if he had died of natural causes in his sleep, I don't think we would have been having, you know, this. I think this funeral being televised had a lot more to, it, it was strictly about who was there, you know what I mean? Yeah. It, it, it was a it, it, it's, it's silly, <laughs> it's, it's, it's disgusting, you know what I mean? It, 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 no, one, no one aired it because Sonny Bono was this huge, even, even important death, man, you know, really, they did it because they wanted yes. to see, you know, they wanted to get maybe a shot Fair. like at, at Versace's I, funeral of Elton John crying, right. or maybe Newt Gingrich would be crying or right. something. I mean, it's, it's, it's just silly. <laughs> It's silly. There's but no I think Jennifer made a point that Eddie died in sleep is different than going out with a bang. Unless he died in well, sleep with, you know, but I think you're somebody right. else. <laughs> it's who you can get at your funeral. Exactly. And, and yeah. I mean, even in death, they did not give him much respect no. because I kept seeing on the news yesterday, Sonny Bono died, but they showed Cher <laughs> coming through the yeah. airport. And then they showed yeah. the tree. He hit. So it was like share the tree right. and then third billing, yeah. and then they got to him. I don't. I don't know how much they um how much they they publicized the Michael Kennedy's death here, but I was oh, on lot. the East Coast. Well, I was on the East Coast during the funeral and all that stuff, and and it just it was just clips of of the rest of the Kennedys. Yeah. You know, they wanted to get a clip of John John crying or whatever. I mean, it, it's just you know they were ripping Michael Kennedy apart a few months ago for the other thing that happened with right. him, and and now you know it's just. It's all about who's there. It's all about who they can get on film, you know, in this, this moment for, you know, future assemblage reels for CNN or, you it's know, also a little bit of the contrast. You know, here you've got this celebrity from Hollywood, and he's a Republican. You know, everybody said, oh, my God, I can't believe that somebody from uh, the entertainment industry would be a Republican. But that, you know, people should have been tipped off years ago when he named his daughter Chastity. Who but a Republican would come up with, you know, Chastity for... I thought it was Custody. <laughs> All right, okay. we have to take a break with you. Friday night at 10 on CTV. Join us Monday when our guests will be Eugene Levy, Ariana Huffington, Dick Morris, and David Allen Greer. Okay. Now, Jennifer, you mentioned uh, he went into show business as a Republican. Like, that's a weird thing. Everybody I ever heard of who was in show business and then went into politics is a conservative Republican, beginning with Reagan. 
right George Murphy. Uh, Fred Grandy. The Gophers. Republicans? 